Well, good evening and welcome to another episode of Big Rose COVID Kitchen. There's been a lot of requests come through on the YouTube channel for suggestions of what people would like. So there's been normal suggestions, vegetarian uh, suggestions and pescatarian suggestions. So tonight we're actually going to look after all three cohorts. So we're doing Big Rose homemade pizzas. Uh, we're going to have three different toppings. We're doing a potato, rosemary and sea salt with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, we're also doing a Italian sausage or cacciatore that's got a, a little twist on the normal. And last uh, but not least, we're doing a garlic prawn pizza. Now I don't know about you, but I struggle to find good pizza uh, around our local area and it's so much easier to make your own. And the dough is absolutely simplistic. I use a Jamie Oliver's dough, which has a bit of fine semolina flour, which gives a very good crunch in the base. But anyway, let's get into it and we'll do our three different pizzas tonight. Uh, so to all of you, cheers, enjoy the show, and make sure you subscribe at YouTube. Thank you. So commence with your baker's flour and semolina flour. Now this recipe I got from Jamie Oliver. Uh, we're adding uh, dried yeast, salt, and then most recipes call for uh, sugar. Uh, to activate the yeast. I'm actually using Beechworth honey for this uh, recipe. Gives a lovely taste to the, uh, the dough uh, once cooked. So we're going to mix this up. You could use um, your hands and knead the dough for about 10 minutes. Um, I'm using a KitchenAid with a dough hook. And now we're going to make our uh, tomato sauce for the pizza. So we've got one clove of garlic going in, olive oil, uh, a finely diced onion. I'm just going to saute that off uh, very quickly till the onion and, and garlic have softened and uh, we would also add a little basil at this stage if we had any but I forgot to buy it. So adding a can of chopped tomatoes and also uh, a little bit of sugar always when you're cooking uh, with tomatoes. So you've got a bit of tartness in the tomato. You won't taste the sugar, but it will take away uh, the tartness. So our dough's risen for about half an hour. It's uh, doubled in size. And this recipe that you'll get up on the, uh, the website uh, makes six uh, small pizzas. And I'm now just shaping them into uh, six balls and uh, we'll just put those to the side to, to double in size uh, while we prepare the ingredients. So the first pizza we're doing is a garlic pizza uh, with Australian tiger prawns. Don't buy those, in uh, those imported uh, prawns, they're tasteless and let's support Australian businesses. Now this one is a Italian cacciatore uh, sausage diced and actually put into the pizza dough and then we just simply top it with the uh, salsa and the uh, mozzarella. Um, I learnt this from uh, an ex-colleague at Jet Set back in Perth in the 80s, Nilla Daniele. So thank you Nilla, I'm still making it today. And the third and final pizza is a sliced potato with rosemary, sea salt and olive oil. Now these potatoes are just going to go in the microwave for about four minutes to soften up. And now we're going to prepare the dough. So the first, as I said, is the Italian sausage within the dough. So we're just going to push the finely diced Italian sausage into the dough and roll it out. And we're doing that in a couple of stages to make sure the, uh, the um, sausage is throughout uh, the dough. And then we'll roll it out. And if you're so inclined, you can also do a bit of throwing uh, to get to the desired size. All right, so the uh, tomato sauce goes on. Uh, the mozzarella cheese and we're straight into the pizza oven. Just make sure that it uh, doesn't stick to the roof. And we're putting on our uh, prawns that have been uh, 
marinating in a little bit of olive oil and garlic. Put the residual olive oil and garlic on as well. And just a small amount of your mozzarella cheese. Uh, a sprinkle of chili flakes. And then our last but not least is the potato rosemary sea salt uh, pizza for the vegetarians. This is probably my favourite pizza of all. So distribute the cooked potatoes, add some uh, freshly cut rosemary, sea salt and olive oil and into the pizza it goes, into the pizza oven. And there we have the finished product. Well everyone, that's all done. The um, uh, pizza with the uh, cacciatore in the bottom, the Italian sausage, um, I'd like to acknowledge an old colleague of mine from 1980s back at Jet Set in Perth, uh, Nilla Daniele, taught me that and I'm still doing it today Nilla, so thank you for that great recipe. Uh, the uh, prawn, uh, olive oil, garlic, and we've just added some rocket to it and ready to, uh, to eat. Now tonight, I'm um, after a recommendation from a good mate at uh, Dan Murphy's East Malvern actually today, not Malvern. Um, I'm having an Evans and Tate Butterball uh, Chardonnay uh, from 2015. Um, so what my spec was to Dan Murphy's is I want something 15 to 20 dollars. Um, I'm having pizza, I went through the pizzas we were having, the, uh, the pescatarian, the vegetarian and the, uh, the meat lovers. And anyway, this is what he's come up with. Um, very buttery, uh, exceptionally smooth, um, great on the palate uh, to go with um, the pizzas this evening. So I can actually recommend it. I've never had it actually before, I've had it tonight as I've been cooking and uh, a fantastic paired wine with these great pizzas. You'll never go back to the pizza shop again. As always, thanks for watching Big Rose Kitchen and don't forget to subscribe and it's free. Thank you. Good night and cheers.